In the summer of 2020, uh, just towards the end of the summer, my family was really struggling. Um, my marriage was in trouble and I had to leave our home with my boys. And it was beginning of COVID, middle of COVID. We weren't meeting as a church. Our community group wasn't meeting, but we were still connecting. And I was really fortunate to have good connections. Uh, with people who really saw and did life with our family, so knew what we were going through. When I left my home, I had nowhere to live. I didn't know what was going to happen, but a family stepped in who had a trailer available on their property, a trailer that wasn't supposed to be there, but God had worked his ways to make it so that me and the boys had a safe place to stay. And so we stayed with that family for five weeks. We lived in the trailer, but we also lived in their home. We're part of their family. The kids treated each other like siblings and they just helped me get on my feet and figure out what it was gonna be like to be a single mom, but also give me some space to work on my marriage. And after about five weeks, it was pretty clear that uh, we needed to move on from the trailer, but moving home wasn't gonna be an option. So another family from the church heard about our situation and offered us an apartment, an apartment that had been for sale and real estate being as it is in Victoria in lots of waves up and down. Um, it probably should have sold, but it wasn't. It didn't sell and it was coming towards the end of the contract and it was just really clear that God had another plan for this apartment. And so uh, we moved in and we started to establish our life. There was people from our community group that would bring by snacks. They would bring help me make lunches for the kids. There was another family that uh, helped with childcare. Childcare is so difficult and I was navigating being a single mom, trying to work full time as a nurse, um, trying to work on a marriage, being broken and weak myself. And not only did I get the spiritual guidance from people within the church and elsewhere, uh, yeah, they just stepped into the gaps and the family took my oldest every morning before school and would take him to school so that I could get to work on time. And other people would just pray with me. And I was able to heal and grow in dependency with God through the way that God's people really stepped in in my time of need and as my healing journey has gone on um, I, I get to now bless others the way that I was blessed in our in our struggles and, and in my great time of need and I get to step in and walk alongside other women who are are struggling and feeling weak and knowing from personal experience that God is with them and God is so powerful and so gracious in their weakness and that through it is just made stronger and more magnificent and it sometimes feels like I just I wouldn't wish this story on anybody but having this and having experienced the way God showed up for me through his church has just been an incredible blessing.